going on, my box Chevy family? Pretty sure all y'all wear this um coronavirus shit going on. This quarantine and all that shit, man. I don't know what's up with it. But it, it ain't really stopping nothing, but it is stopping something at the same time. So I figure, shit, I might as well use this downtime to get some old little small shit done. Couldn't get a haircut. My weekly, my weekly trim up. My kids couldn't get their hair cut. Sorry about that. That was a phone call coming through. But yeah, like I said, man, I couldn't get cut up, nothing. I just been sitting in the same spot. So figured I'd come out here and get a few things done. Show y'all. First things first. Changed out the door lock switches. Told y'all I had those new. That's a big difference from those old beat up ass locks. Check it out, check it out. I did the driver's side too. Driver's side done. I'm noticing my gas hand not working on this digital gauge though on there on the on the dashboard. So I was supposed to take that up there today, but I just decided to do it on the weekend. But um, let's see what else we got here, man. Um, nothing too much different under here. I got the master cylinder put on. As y'all can see. Got that on there, the brand new one. The old one was all yellow and shit. I had to get that from under there. I got a few more little parts that's going under here too. And I'm gonna probably do some more touch up on it under there. Put this battery holder, cause every time I hit the corner, this damn battery flying everywhere. So that's nice and sturdy. Got that where I want it. I need to clean some of these wires up too. When they hook my alarm, they put a lot more wires in there. I already thought it was too many in that area and they put way more down there. Installing the alarm, so I'm gonna move a lot of this shit around this wire and I'm gonna clean this up some more. It's decent for now. Everything, you know, in the right spot, but I'm gonna put it, you know, make it look a little cleaner. And now as far as these damn springs, I told y'all the weekend, which the weekend just passed, I was getting the shocks and springs done to lift the front up. Shocks and springs is on there. Do you notice the car is still lower in the front? That's because I fucked around and ordered the wrong springs. I ordered the heavy duty shocks and springs thinking they was going to give it some lift and they was the wrong one. So that was the waste of money. My guy ended up putting them on there. He did the upper lower ball joints and um, the brake pads on the front. But um, long story short, I ended up going to Universal Car Lifts and getting the right one. So this is going to lift it between four and five inches or four to six inches. That's from the Universal Car Lifts. Them the springs is going to lift it up. They look about the same height as the ones I put on there, but... Um, you know, it's just the resistance on them is what's going to give it that height. Because it's too damn saggy in the front for me. And I was talking to the guy at the body shop the other day. I went up there to get an estimate. He told me that I should replace this fender. But I had stuff worse than that that I got body work done on. So I'm figuring, like, should I, you know, because that's the only rust spot on here. As far as the car, I don't know. Ain't no rust spots on there except for that. There's a little rust under the undercarriage of the car, but... That's the only rough spot there. So if anybody could chime in on that, man, y'all think I need to replace that fender? Because I prefer not to. But if I got to, I will. But Because that's going to be the next step once I get back on the road. But like I said, yeah, man, it was a waste of money with those shocks and springs. And that's one thing about these cars. They definitely ain't no investment. You know, it's just a hobby. And it's an expensive-ass hobby. I think it'd be cheaper to smoke crack. <laughs> just being real. But, um, yeah, man. Just got that little stuff done for now. Trying to find some other shit to do. Oh, yeah, and I took the steering wheel cover off and dyed it navy blue. Because this was, um, see, I took it off of there. My steering wheel cover was a royal blue and the interior navy blue in here. So I dyed it with some uh, vinyl spray navy blue. I'm just waiting on that to dry. I got it in the house because it's too cold to dry out here. So, yeah, I'm going to find some more shit to do, man. Might just straighten up the garage for now because there ain't nothing else to do. Let's do a little cold start on the car, though. Let's do that. Let's do that. A little cold start. Yeah, and I had to I had to put some shims in that starter, too. When I started it up, it started um started making a loud screeching noise. Skirt! You know, every time I started, it make a loud screech. So I had to put some shims on one side of that starter to balance it out. Now he's starting up quiet. Nice and quiet. I never get tired of looking at this car. I don't know about y'all, but I can look at this car all day. Walk around and look at it all day, man. Ended up putting that on there. Had to drill some holes in there. But yeah, everything is in working order right now, man. Coming along pretty good. This thing running beautifully. 
I hit that gas, this motherfucker respond. So I can't wait to see what it's gonna be like when they get it tuned. Those going in a Chevy, and not the Chevy, my, my Infinity. Once I put the 28s on there, see everybody distracted by this Chevy. Oh, you ain't gonna finish it by the summer. I ain't worried about finishing about the summer. It's a project. And like I said once before, when you're working on your car, do it at your own pace. If you want it done by the summer, get it done by the summer. If you want it done in the next two, three years, it'll take you three, four years to do it. Take your time on it. Everybody pockets different. This is my car. I can get it done right now if I want to. I got the money to go just spend if I really want it, but I'm taking my time. It's a project, so I take my time with it. I don't want it perfect. I want it nice as I can get it, but um, it definitely don't have to be perfect. You know, it's just all about the sentimental value, about you doing your own shit. So don't try to keep up with nobody else, man. See folks working on their cars and you want to play catch up? Don't do it. Just do shit at your own pace. Whenever you get done with it, you get done. Don't put a dent in your pocket trying to keep up with the next man. Everybody bankroll different. I'm not saying I'm rich. I might just have a little more money to play with as far as getting shit done. I do own two businesses, so we talk about that in a later video. But yeah, it's coming along, man. It look like it's glitching on camera, but it's sitting still. Like I get this fuel gauge re re redid, man. I don't know what dude did. It ain't working. camera look like the numbers glitching. Now they look straight. Yeah, when you move it back, they look like they glitch, see? See them? Now they glitching on them. Oh, yeah. But they, they, they look fine in person on this camera. They just look like they glitching in and out. That's where I found some tissue after that quarantine. Yeah, oh yeah, glitch is some wrong way right there. Ain't nothing wrong with it, that's just what it do on there. Yeah. I bought a new turn signal too, because this shit look ugly. Then I caught myself dying this wheel blue. I'm gonna go ahead and get it wrapped though. When he wrapped the dash, I'm gonna tell him to use the same material to wrap this. Get this carpet, this carpet horrible. Take freezing. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Small replacement part, which would be the turn signal. See the old one. See the new one. This wire here is for the cruise control. Won't be needing that because I'm not hooking up cruise control. Put my foot in that thing. So I just cut the wire on the new one. Just install it real quick. Line it up. Where we at? Let's see here. There we go. And insert. There we go. And we on to some. Numbers come on. Off. There we go. Yep, and it worked like a little signal. Boom. Yep, that's it. Time to put that money where they mouth is. Uh. Yeah, that was just a little quick update. I'm bored. I ain't got shit to do. Hope I ain't bother y'all too much, man. If y'all watching this video, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace.